How's it going everybody? My name is Philip, and today we're going to be reacting to the worst referee decisions. I'm guessing this is just football. This li all it literally says is worst referee decisions. And uh, I'm all about that. <laughs> I'm all about just watching some bad calls and getting angry at them. Normally, uh, I, I get more angry when it's my team. I, I think it's funny sometimes. I'm just like, how are you so stupid? Sometimes that's how I feel when I'm watching some of these games. I'm just like, ref. Especially now that we have VAR, it's just like, what are you watching? What are they watching that they can't be like, yo, hold up the play. We need to check this, you know? But, I mean, I don't know. Let's, let's uh, see how bad these calls are. I feel like some... It's a split-second decision, and, and I'm hoping that a lot of these are really old before VAR, because at least that gives them a better excuse for making terrible calls. But now, in today's day and age, it's just like, you can't. You can't do that. <laughs> like, you, you got to get it right. That's why we implemented this new system. Whether you like it or not, you know, there's this new system in football. There's this new system in the sport that you got to use if, you know, just to get the call right. That's why we put it in the sport. So use it. <laughs> but uh, let's check it out. Met by his compatriot. Did that press the hand of Rodri? Big appeal as you'd expect from the Yeah. Referee. Okay. One thing I will say about that, about this one. There's always arguments on whether, like, what, where's the arm stop? That's a handball every single day. I don't care. The other angle made it look like it was more, like, right here. Right here. Still counts as your hand. Still counts as the hand-arm portion. But I've heard someone argue it's where the, the, the sleeve and your, the sleeve ends, basically. So I'm just like, I don't know about that one. But that's, I, I would definitely call. Especially because his arm is out. Oh, that's terrible. You missed that, even in VAR. If you stick your arm out, that's... The tiniest of touches. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, great job. There you go. Great job. Ooh. I mean, that's dangerous. That can be considered dangerous play. That's still considered dangerous play, even if, you know... A yellow at least would have been good, but... Eh, that's borderline. Okay, and let me let me let me rephrase this. I say that's borderline because I think that Sterling was kind of already on his way down. Let's 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 look at this again. I mean, the bump's right there, and he's already that far down while he's getting bumped. Maybe I maybe I. Oh, they gave the penalty. Okay, yeah, no, that that's bad. I thought I thought the call was uh, no penalty, and I was like, yeah, that shouldn't be a penalty, but that's terrible. Well, that was in. That was in the World Cup, right? Wasn't this the? <laughs> I'm fine with no penalty there. There's just a lot of pushing and shoving and whatnot, but. That's a bit weird. That one probably could have been called. Oh, 
free kick. Where, where did the where did it start? I mean, all the important stuff happened in the box. And even still, if it's on the line, normally that's called a penalty. Oh hell no. And then Messias. Messias. Yeah, that's pretty bullshit. He should have allowed advantage. Like if the guy was offside, then I get calling it back, but he didn't look like he was off. Okay, I just didn't have a great angle on that. That one's a bit weird. It's just the way he went down, I think. A bit of room as Nuno Mendes comes forward looking for Ronaldo. Oh, are you kidding me? Go oh, that was in. Was that a preseason game? Wait, that was international. There's no way that's preseason. That should have been a red. I don't know about that. Listen, my 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 reasoning for that not being a red. Look, 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 look. Away from goal, right? I get last man. I get that. Three people would have enough time to get back there by the time he reaches that ball, right? Okay, that could be a red, but even still, the touch was just. That, see that one's just a judgment call. Um, it's it is what it is, right? It's just because look at the tiniest touch. They always call those, which is ridiculous to me. Cause that looked like that was a heavy touch, and no, it's not the same. This is not the same. That That's easily yellow. Because of where the position of the ball is. Obviously, the other guy was a bit more in. There's also two people between the ball and the player. So, the defense has a better job at getting to the attacker. And deflect and, and stopping the goal. Clear yellow on the, on the goalie. Not a red. It's not the same. But then he does jump in and grab it like that. That's fair. That's fine. When was this? That's always given regardless. Because, sorry I'm pausing it a lot. I'm trying to get good angles. That, Because normally when a player cuts around, they always clip the ankles. But it's hard to see if there's actually any contact. It's always difficult to tell. If he was pulled down, then yeah, that's a red. But it's just, I it, you can't tell. That was an absolute accident. There's no intention from the player whatsoever. 
He got the second yellow red shovel. Well, well, well. Oh, he's handling the referee as well. That was bullshit. That, that was stupid. Like, get over it. Arms away from the body. That's a that's a handball every single day. He made his body bigger, therefore. One thing I'll say about this. <laughs> Listen, I know it's my Aston Villa. I know that. Okay. But if, if Sheffield was the team that pushed the goalie into the goal, yes, take the goal out. But unfortunately, it was the Aston Villa player that ran into the goalie, so that probably should have been a good goal. As much as I hate it. Was he off? Are we 100% sure it hit his hand? I mean, that one looked like he, it did from that angle. Yeah, th so that should not be a penalty at all or a foul. That's some bullshit. That, so, okay, I'll, I'll try and find the video, but that reminds me of... Uh, that one player who grabbed the guy's arm and smacked himself in the head in the face and was like, "Oh, he fouled me." That kind of reminds me of that in the sense of you did that to yourself. Like in in this instance, he did his move. He didn't have control of the ball fully, and then he goes and steps on the player, and then he gets the foul. Like that, it just doesn't work that way. Apparently, it does here, but I mean, it's just. The only saving grace on that, there's not a good camera angle. It's hard to tell. Again, it's that gray area of, of is it shoulder, is it arm? It's, it's one of those, I probably would have called it just because his arm is up like this. Like when you, when you go to block a ball, arms always in arms always in like at least that way if they call it it's like no you're protecting your body your body's not up here if you're doing this that's fine you're protecting your face but arms out like this like that should have been a penalty but it's that gray area yeah I probably would have called it. He gets a yellow for arguing. He doesn't get a yellow for doing the skills. He does. Yeah, no, that should have read. I think everyone can say that's a red. A hundred percent red every single day, except for in a final, the World Cup final. Okay, so that was definitely really interesting. Like I said, I gave my opinion on a lot of them. Uh, again, like I said, just like right here, that's always the gray area when it comes to handballs. Sometimes they're called, sometimes they're not, but if your arms are out like this, like, th th I think it should be called every single day of the week. You're not, you're not protecting your body. You know, this isn't protecting your body. Like, if you're like that, you're protecting your face, but like that, what are you protecting? The wind? Like, what the fuck? Like, come on. So, <laughs> interesting calls. <laughs> uh, so, let me know which ones I definitely uh, got wrong. The one that I will say that I'm still a bit mad on was the goalie barely touching that one guy's foot for the straight red. That one, I'm just like, okay, you could have given a yellow because of all these other instances, but... I, I mean, you, you know, I guess it could be a red. I, I'm not complaining it being a red. 
it's it's I guess what would be considered an orange card where it can go either way, um, but it's definitely very interesting to to see it and and so it's like I feel like I I could do a better job at refing, but I feel like I'd do a better job at doing the VAR because I don't have to actually be there, you know. And it does suck that there's certain rules that the VAR has to follow. Which is understandable because you got to make sure the flow of the game stays and it's not like the NFL where you stop every five seconds or something like that to, to say, hey, look, check this out, check this out because you got to have some good flow in this game. So, uh, again, like I said, let me know if there's anyone that you really disagree with or any that you do agree with or, or whatnot. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. It's been a blast. I'm going to do a lot more uh, football videos in the future. I love this sport. Uh, the MLS has recently started up here in the States, so once the English League and once all the European leagues are over, if you want to watch a decent enough league that has terrible refing, c come, come watch MLS. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching, and uh, let me know some other football-related stuff to watch in the comment section below, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.